first of all, news holes are free. Um, secondly, maybe it took longer to get a lifetime in before there were many bodies to come into. But perhaps most importantly, we believe there are many realms and many planets that you could be reborn into. Also, you could you probably have been lesser forms, animal forms, in previous lifetimes. Now, Earth and humans that are visible to us are not, that's not the only planet that's inhabitable, and we believe there are realms that we can see that you could also be reborn into. Somebody over here have a question? Yeah. Uh, do you think that this lifetime is maybe your last lifetime and you'll be able to reach one of these gods? Uh, that'd be nice, but two things. First of all, having an experience of samadhi is not the same as being in samadhi full time. I will say you, I have absolutely no difficulty looking at you and seeing all of you as part of God. That's not a concept, that's my reality. But it's also a matter that once you be, attain that state of being, you have to adjust your behavior to be totally consistent with it, and I still have a ways to go. I can still be judgmental. I can still get angry if somebody cuts me off on the road or things like that. So um, I'm not done. But also, uh, this arises more in Buddhism, but we have it in Hinduism as well. There's the concept of a bodhisattva, of being who vows to return to this plane of existence, however many lifetimes it takes, to assist all other beings. And I have taken such a vow, and I'm doing living insights. This lifetime is my way to do that. I work seven days a week, and I don't get and I donate money out of my pension to be able to keep it going. And I do that just to be of service to people. So uh, even if I could attain that, which I still have a ways to go, I'm playing to keep coming back personally. All right, thank you for coming. last lifetime or whatever so you think like so that's like when you're perfect like so do you think there are perfect humans like because that would be your last lifetime if you like achieve like everything perfectly and like how are you perfect your your whole question life? is are there perfect beings now there probably are i don't think i know any of them and i think there are people who some there are people who some people believe have become perfected and other people think they're just frauds um i don't know um Theoretically, unless you take a bodhisattva path, once you attain the state of that, that state of being, once you die, you won't be back. Um, it is possible, I mean, I, I think as long as you're in a body, you're still going to have some ego. Uh, you're still going to worry about pain and suffering and eating and being cold and all that sort of thing, to some extent. But I think if you can really get into the, the experience of everything as being God, and treat it that way, you're pretty darn close. And, um, you know, once you're free of your body, you won't be back. But you keep very close to it for Yeah. So I know the uh, axis of the system is obsolete, but how much caste system is That's good. Um, yes, about the caste system. The caste system is a cause of embarrassment in India. Um, the system is not quite as egregious if you understand this. Um, it divides people up in largely the same way all cultures do. You have a princely caste, you have a political warrior caste, you have the, the business people, you have the workers, and you have the people who are treated like nobody should be treated. What's different in India is that it's rigid and it's believed to be partially on the basis of karma. You're born into a caste and um, it, you brought it on yourself to some extent. It's really a lot more complicated than that. You know, in, in feudal Europe, it was like that. If you were born into a shoemaker's family, you were going to be a shoemaker. But India didn't go through the changes. Uh, the system is breaking down, and it is actually illegal in India to discriminate on the basis of caste. Um, there are a lot of subcastes, and, you know, people think the priest must be the highest caste. It's actually really not really revered that way any longer. The priests that are in the 